Man, number one morning show in the country. Give it up for Charlemagne the God, ladies yeah, and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, today we got a real good one in the building, man. Make some noise for Philly's own young Jaleel Peach, y'all. Yeah. Like you born and raised in Philly, right, Jaleel? I'm from Chester, PA. It's like 10 minutes away from Philly. So I came up listening to Swiss and you know, Primo, Mandy Fresh, Just Blaze. Kanye West, you know what I mean? What made you want to be a producer and not a rapper? Because Philly's home is fittest. <laughs> everybody raps in Philly. Um, I, I think that's that's the reason, because everybody rapped in Philly. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to do something different. And my my pop was a producer, too, though. You know what I mean? Okay, so I pretty much... Too, right? Yeah, my brother uh, is the beat bully. Um, he did skate, Stay Scheming. He did uh, So Sophisticated for Raw's the intro. Uh, he did... He got... A lot of records. What made you want to be a producer and not a rapper? Because Philly's home is fittest. Everybody raps in Philly. Um, I, I think that's that's the reason because everybody rapped in Philly, and uh, you know, I just wanted to do something different. And my my pop was a producer too, though. You know what I mean? Okay. So Your I pretty much. Too, right? Yeah, my brother uh is the beat bully. Um, he did skate, stay scheming. He did uh, so sophisticated for Ross the intro. Uh, he did he got. A lot of records. So on Christmas, all y'all did was ask for production equipment between you and Yeah, we asked for new laptops, speakers, yeah. headphones, and stuff like that. Yeah. What was the first um, piece of equipment you worked on? Um, FL Studio, man. It was the first. It was the only thing we could afford. Is. Yeah, it's, it's a software okay. called okay. FL Studio. Fruity Loops. You know what I mean? For, um, oh, Fruity oh, Loops. Yeah, right. okay. Fruity Loops. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, you know, I had my, my dad had got me a MIDI keyboard, and that's how I started. A little MIDI keyboard at FL Studio. You got something already in there? Are you gonna make yeah, some yeah. you wanna do? Uh, well, I was gonna go through the steps of how I did. How I, did. I would love to hear that, um, but I didn't know you could make that type of chunky production on Fruity Loops. I thought Fruity Loops was like a startup kit, and then you take it to like the yeah. like real studio or something. But believe it or not, all the hits nowadays are, are made on FL Studio, yeah. man. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I started off. With this. Originally, I started with an idea from the choir. Is it from the choir? It was a choir. It's a choir right here, right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the idea behind behind this, I was watching the Omen. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah, I want to make something sinister, something scary, you know what I'm saying? And then I added, like, a video game synth, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me put it. And that's all Fruity Loops? All FL right here. So I used this just to get the idea, too. So I might just... type of idea of feel what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I mess around with the pads. And then I draw it in on here. So what I do is I might draw it in here, but I just get a feel of my M MPD, you know what I'm saying? Did you have an idea for what you wanted the record to be? Yeah, I already knew from right here, I just wanted it to be a hard street anthem. Like, I really don't make records like thinking like the radio. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this put on the radio. You know, I thought kicking in. Then when I got that out there, I want to do it, it takes some time to really just sit down and, and 
on the road so much. Right. You know what I mean? I, eventually, I want to learn to play instruments and learn how to read it because, you know, the melodies will be in, um, endless, you know what I'm saying? I really want to learn how to play the chords and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I, I really just do stuff from ear, by ear. Is what, I think, so what, you on, things now. what you on the road doing? Because you're, you're not an artist. I DJ too, though. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did that help with your production in, being a DJ? I always wanted to be a DJ, but I, my mom couldn't afford turntables. So this was really the only thing. Okay. Yeah. This, is like a, this was like a 99 program. You know what I mean? I like to put my 808s and my kicks together so my shit hit super hard. Hit so hard. That's a kick. That's an actual kick inside with the 808. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people might just use the kick, or they might with a bass line or something like gotcha. that, or they might just use the 808 by itself. I just intertwine my shit and I got somebody to mix it. You know what I mean? So I don't distort it. See, that's a pro tip. You learned something new today. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna play you this new record I got um with Dave East. Okay. And it's Bobby Smyrna and Rowdy Rebel on the hook. What's the name of it? It's called Tom Ticking. How the hell y'all get Rowdy and Bobby on the hook? Um, well, it's crazy because I was working with Puff on um, the Money Making Mitch album. Okay. So I had Bobby and Rowdy come through and they laid the hook, but um, Puff never got around to it. You know what I'm saying? So they just gave, uh, Neil just gave me the record. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, Dave Beast on it. Can I get some volume on that? Free Rowdy, free Bobby, all my before a cloudy, all I know is counting. I got my city bouncing, they loving my aura. They hard to tell, I'm from the border, started with quarters. I was 19, we was trying to get it on a night scene. Visions of that white bean, NBA pipe dreams. Dropped out of college, now I get the coupe drop. Drop coke was in my tube sock, right in poop spot. No, I'm a little so I knew the boys was. G5 to the five, that's the boys trip. Do a couple mails, still up on that fours list. Scott Blow on the watch, that's the boss list. You don't like to use samples. I don't use samples at all because the publishing they take all your it, it'll take all your bread. You know what I mean? What, what, what record did you learn that on? Uh, Amen. Oh, I, yeah. I, 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 I. what happened was when we did Amen, um, I think at the Drake got on it and it was out. They put it out first before we get the business of it. You know what I'm saying? So the, the dudes we sampled it from, um, you know, they took a lot of the publishing. And I was like, I ain't never doing that. I think it peaked like number four on the charts. So you ain't see a dime off that. Nah, I seen some good money, but I could have seen I seen six figures. I could have seen millions from it though. What's the splits like? Like 60, 40, 80, 20? Man, we, 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 get, we got like I, I think I got like three percent on that record. Wow. Yeah. Just make your own wave, man. You gotta make your own wave and use the internet. Um what I did was I, I come up from the MySpace era. So what I was doing was um it was this kid that was um, running Meek Mill's MySpace page at the time before Meek Mill found it. Um, what I did was I put an instrumental mixtape out, and um, you know I got the artwork made, and I had um, the, the kid put my picture, my mixtape um, cover as everybody avatar. So all like the hottest dudes that was spitting in Philly, he was running their page. So he put me in their top eight, and everybody would have my picture as their avatar so people would listen to like go to the picture like who the hell is this and then they go to my page in the top eight and listen to my beats so you just got to know how to brand yourself because the internet is free marketing and promotion you know what I'm saying?